it'll be a few days before we get to see these. Jeez, nobody appreciates the arts of film photography no more. Who was Alice Ball from Paul? Good question. Alice Augusta Ball was a chemist who developed an early treatment for leprosy, a disease that causes skin to change color, grow lumps, and tear. It also caused numbness, which people, man, got injured. They might not be able to know it. These injuries could get so infected that they lost fingers and toes. In the early 1900s, when Alice was doing her own research, leprosy destroyed people's lives. But it wasn't the illness itself that was so destructive. It was a stigma or rejection by society. For centuries, leprosy was thought to be a curse from God. And many societies saw as punishment for sin or a bad behavior. They thought that the people with leprosy were just even getting what they absolutely deserved. So it was nearly for them impossible to get the care that they needed. And around the world, they were banished to be isolated villages for leprosy patients. By the time that Alice Augusta Ball was starting her own career, the world had basically given up on a cure. But when a doctor asked for Alice to help with creating for a better treatment, she stepped up. Alice Augusta Ball was born in 1892 in Seattle, Washington. Her family was full of photographers, but back then, chemistry was part of the job. Alice saw them capture detailed images using substantines like iodine and mercury. It was a magical introduction to the world of chemistry, and she was hooked. She went on to study how chemicals can be used as medicines or pharmaceuticals. She enrolled in a college in Hawaii and became the first woman and the first African American to earn a master's degree there. This was the early 1900s, when women were discouraged from going to college, and in most of America was rationally segregated. Black people were kept out of the schools, restaurants, and hospitals that white people used. For Alice, working on leprosy treatment was a chance to help free others from unfair restrictions. And it was also a fascinating and unconcord chemistry problem. At the time, none of the available treatments for leprosy were very effective. In Asia, people found that an oil from chalamuka trees brought some relief, but there were any problems. Swallowing the drug caused intense nausea, so patients struggled to keep it down to a long run for help. And it didn't even work so well either, but it burned something terribly. For ages, doctors and scientists have been searching for a better way to get the medicine into patients. And Alice Augusta Ball, she was 23 years old, and she was determined to find it. And the problem with Chalamuga and oil, well, it is well as well as an oil. And the human body is mostly made of water, which doesn't even mix with oil. And if Chalamuga can be dissolved in water, it will work much something better. Alice taught classes and labs during the day and worked on the Chalamuga problem in her own free time. She focused on the improvident in its sociability or ability but to be dissolved. But to do that, she had to get rid of the part of the chemical that keeps water away and replace it with a new part of what attract water instead. And after tireless of months of experimentation, she succeeded. Doctors began giving injections prepared using Alice's method. For the first time, and many leprosy patients went to remission, and all the signs of the disease disappeared. Instead of getting banished, they were able to go home thanks to Alice's work. Well, tragically, Alice Augusta Ball never got to see that. Before her death in 1916 of a long illness shortly after her big discovery, she was only 24 years old. But her work continued to help countless people around the world. It remained the most effective leprosy treatment for decades. In Thailand, it helped so many that the king gave a chalmugra tree to the College of Hawaii as a thank you. 
Scientists kept studying leprosy, and today, it's curable. To help end the stigma, it's been renamed Hansen's disease, after the scientists who discovered its cause. Hey, could you- Hey, can you hold that sandwich up just a little more? This will be a good one. This will be a good one. 